When it comes to digital marketing, there's always a debate between email marketing and social media. While both have their strengths, email marketing often delivers far superior results. So here are three key reasons why that's the case. First, email marketing offers significantly higher conversion rates and return on investment. Studies have shown that every $1 spent on email marketing, businesses can generate an impressive $36, far surpassing the ROI seen on social media. Now, email subscribers have already opted in, showing genuine interest in the product or brand. Secondly, emails allow for direct and targeted communication. Unlike social media posts that may get buried in crowded feeds, emails go straight to your subscriber's inbox. This enables businesses to deliver personalized messages tailored to specific customer segments, leading to more relevant and effective marketing. Lastly, with email marketing, you own and control your audience. Social media platforms can change algorithms or policies at any time, limiting your reach. So with email, you have complete control over that list, ensuring your message gets seen by the right people. And if you're wondering how to make email marketing work for you, tools like OmniSend make it easy to create high converting campaigns that will keep your audience engaged and drive actual results to your business. Now, this is a sponsored video by OmniSend, but as always, I'm not going to give you any opinions. I'm simply going to demonstrate how you can get started, some of the features available, and you can make a more informed decision for yourself. Now, if this is your first time on the channel, my name is Paul C, and I've been an online educator, developer, and web designer for over 20 years, working with clients in multiple different countries. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at OmniSend and some of the basic features that are available to you. You can start off with a free plan and then move to a paid plan if you want to. I'm just going to cover some of those basic features, but I'll be covering more in future videos in the coming months in a little bit more detail. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is sign up for a free account. Once you've done that and confirmed your account, you can simply log in, and then we need to connect this up to our online store. Now, in our example, I'm going to be using WooCommerce because it's a WordPress-based platform, but you have multiple different platforms you can connect OmniSend up to and start benefiting from all the email marketing tools you have available to you. So once I've logged in, the next thing you need to do is just connect this up to your website. To do that, simply Download and install the plugin into WooCommerce. Once you've done that, you're going to go and connect it, follow the instructions on screen to confirm everything, and then you have a connection between your online store and your OmniSend account. Then we can start benefiting from the tools you have available inside OmniSend. Before we do, though, let's just take a quick look at some of the options available in the plugin for WooCommerce in WordPress. So once installed, you'll have a new section called OmniSend for WooCommerce. Simply open that up, and then you can choose what information you want to connect up inside you. But if you want to, you can add an opt-in checkbox on the checkout page. This is what I would highly recommend that you do, so that anybody that's going through the checkout process, they can choose to subscribe to be notified of new updates and new offers, and then that will connect up to your OmniSend account. It's very simple, just a simple checkbox. If you want to, you can pop in an opt-in checkbox consent text, so you can customize this to your own personal preference. So tag important contacts, this is kind of useful as well. You can set up a custom tag so whenever anybody buys something and opts in to your OmniSend account via your online store in WooCommerce or whatever platform you're using, you can give them a unique tag. And then you can use that tag to target them in automations and other ways. We'll cover things like that in future videos. Just for now, if you want to tag them, you can do it here. Super simple. You've also got the ability to Synchronize your account so you can resync all your contacts and all your contact data will be listed inside your contacts, orders, products, categories, and so on. This data will then be sent over into OmniSend and you can start to use this in your email marketing, your tracking, and all those kinds of good things. And finally, you just have logs. This will log everything that's happening on your store. So once you've connected everything up, come back into your OmniSend account, and then you can see exactly what you can do from here. Now, there are multiple different tools inside this OmniSend platform. And I don't want to cover them all in this video. We'll cover more in future videos. But let's take a quick look at some of the key, most basic things that you have access to. Once you've logged in, you'll see you get some options here that'll tell you to take a look at the plans if you want to upgrade, start working with automations and abandonment workflows and so on. We'll take a look at that in a moment. You can also get an overview of your store, and this will give you all the information about the revenue that you generated in your store and also from OmniSend. So when you send an email marketing out, abandoned carts and things like that, this will tell you how much money you're making from this platform. So as you can see, 
We've got one order has gone through. I can see when it went through. We can see that we've got a subscriber. This is obviously just a demo store. Yours would have a lot more data as you get sales and things coming through. But you can see how it works. We've got email subscribers. You can also have SMS subscribers. So you can send text messages to the relevant people if you want to use that function inside OmniSend. But this will give you a kind of bird's eye view of exactly what's happening. And you can choose to look at this today, last 24 hours, and so on. So you can really break this down. You can also have a live view of exactly what's going on on your store, how long ago it was and so on. So you can see we can filter this by various different events and we can see exactly what's going on, different logged in customers and so on. So we can track their usage inside here as well. Again, pretty useful. At the heart of OmniSend, though, is dealing with sending emails out in various different ways. Like I say, abandoned carts, sending mail shots out, automated things when you've got sales on, all manner of different email marketing type things. To do that, you can simply come into your campaigns. We can create a new campaign. We can choose what kind of campaign it is. So we can do email, we can do A-B testing. So if you want to test out things like titles, content, and so on to see which is the most effective, you can use A-B testing for that. You can send out SMS or MMS messages if you are using that function. And it's also push notifications. So we can create a new email. We can fill out the relevant information. We can also use tags so we can pull in contact users' uh, email addresses, their first name, and so on. So we can personalize it, which generally will get better results than just a generic title that has nothing relevant to the potential buyer. So we can say the contact's first name, and we can pop in what we want. But if you absolutely suck at creating subject lines, you could use the generate subject line option. And here you can tell it what you want it to do, whether it's a great deals for you and suggested subject lines and so on. Pretty cool. Then you can fill out the relevant information. So the sender's name, that'll be your name, your company name, whatever it's going to be. Your sender's email address, you can put in a pre-header, give it a campaign name, what language you want, and so on. You can even connect up to Facebook if you want to. So once we're happy, we'll say choose email template. And now we can start building out our actual email campaign. Let's choose something really simple like this one. That will then load in a template, give us an overview of any new features and so on. It'll pull in any branding that you have, which you can set up at the beginning when you create your account. So now what you can do is you can start to connect this up to your actual store. So for example, you may have specific products you want to recommend or specific product sections you want to send people out. Well, what you can do is you can drag these options in from the left-hand side. So you can say we can pull in a product list in, for example, drop that where we want it. And then you come over to the right-hand side and you can set up all the different options for this. So you can see we can pull in the image, title, description, and so on. So we may not want the description. We can customize it. We want to change the way this looks. You can customize that. The number of products you want, you kind of get the idea. You can pick products from your store. So you can see this is now connected up to our store. We can now choose what products we want. So we'll say this black t-shirt and we'll say these gray shoes, make a lovely combo. And there we go. We've now added in those products that are linked directly straight back to our online store. Once we're happy with that, we can then just move on. We can send a test email up, which you should always do. Send that to yourself to make sure everything is in place. Then you can choose to save and choose what recipients you want to send this out to. So we can choose all subscribers or we can choose segments. So again, when we're going back to that tagging side of things, we can use those tags and we can use those to send this out to VIP, high ticket spenders. You know, you can tag people in lots of different ways. And then you can review your campaign and send that campaign out at a given date, time, whatever you want to do. Really, really simple and straightforward. Next up, there's automations. Now, automations come in various different flavors, but a really common one would be handling what happens if someone abandons a cart with an item in it or multiple items. You want to ultimately entice them back in to finish with that actual purchase. So we can use an automation function here to deal with how we want this to work. So we can say we'll start our workflow We've already got ones that are created for us, or we can explore all the workflows. So let's take a look at how this workflow works. We'll say preview and start it. So if you take a look at it, you can see this is an example of what a checkout abandonment workflow would look like. There's the trigger. Customer abandons a card. In other words, they put something in there and didn't complete it. They closed their browser down, whatever. This will then wait for one hour, and then it'll send them an email saying there's items in your cart that are selling out fast. If they don't respond and make the purchase and complete that cart, then they'll wait for another 11 hours and another one will be sent out. So this email will say, your cart misses you. Then you'll wait 12 hours and you can carry on to this until you kind of exhaust all opportunities or they actually make that purchase, however you want to work with it. Let's continue our step. This will then say, do you want to add SMS or just use emails? For this one, we'll say, just use emails. And we'll say, start the workflow. 
doesn't get much simpler than that, does it? We've now created a workflow. If you want to see it? We can say show our workflow. There's our abandoned checkout, our abandoned cart. Let's click and open one of these up. Say the abandoned checkout. There's the workflow. And now what we can do is, and don't be daunted by this, it does look quite complicated, but it's really quite simple. A trigger, they abandon the cart. What happens? An email is sent out to them. We can click on this and we can now customize what happens here. So you can see we can customize the email, we can send a test, we can change the language. There's a bunch of different options here. Then we've got that wait, that pause kind of thing. There's a delay put in there for 11 hours, but you could tweak and customize that if you wanted to. Then we send the second email out. You get the idea how this works. But again, you'll see your branding is all in there. So the logo that we've got, my little rocket man, all these things are inside there, which we can edit. If we edit this, this will open up the email editor. So like we've already seen, and now we can start putting items inside you. You'll see this will show us any abandoned items. Once you're happy, you can send your test email and you can finish editing. If you want to tweak it, add extra steps in, all those things are available to you. The final thing I want to cover in this video is how we can actually get people onto our mailing list. Now, obviously you've seen that we can do this with a checkout stage and that's okay, but there are better ways of doing this. We can use things like pop-ups with certain intents. So someone goes to leave a page, we can have a pop-up. Someone goes onto a page after a certain amount of time, we can trigger a pop-up, get the idea. But again, because we've got our store connected up to OmniSend, we can do all this in OmniSend and will automatically be applied on your site for you. Really easy. So again, let's preview and launch this. This will now show us, again, we've got the same kind of builder for our emails. We can pull in what we want so we can keep it really simple or customize this and get a lot more, including things like Wheel of Fortune. So you can see we have a little bit of fun here. We can customize this. For now though, let's get rid of that. You can see we've got the Powered by OmniSend because we're using a free account, but if you want to get rid of this, you can use the paid options and remove any branding. But we use the free one, that's perfectly fine in this case. So you can see what happens, audience management. So we can see, set up a tag to determine your subscribers came from this form. Again, going back to those tags, we can target them in various different ways with email automations and so on. Tags are incredibly important in email marketing. You've also then got your schedule, a display. So page visits, time on the page, scroll depth, for example. So let's say we'll put the scroll depth in and we'll say once they scroll down 25% of the page, this will pop up. Or you could add things like an exit intent. So if they go outside the browser window, go to close it down, this will pop up and hopefully trigger them to make a purchase, give them a discount, whatever. Again, come back from this. We can target this so you can set this to show all visitors, but maybe things like don't show visitors of existing contacts. You don't want to nag anybody that's already subscribed and logged into your account. You only want people that are new or not logged in. You can target in various different ways. So we'll just leave this to on all. We can say on, you're going to appear on a specific URL, does not appear on a specific URL or appears on pages for out of stock products. If you leave these unchecked, it's going to show on everything. If you want to get granular, you can show it on specific areas. So let's say appears on a specific URL, contains, is or contains. You can see we can set that up or we can add a URL. I would leave it set on everything for now. There's more options inside here, including visibility, frequency, A-B testing and so on. But for now, let's just enable this. And now we've created a pop-up. Let's go back to our store and see this in action. So this is our online store. Let's refresh our page because we haven't actually checked it out yet. Let's reload. Let's scroll down our page. And there we go. After we get that distance, 25% down our page, there's our pop-up ready to entice people to put their email address in, give them a 10% of their first order and get them onto our mailing list and tagged so we can start sending email to them. Now, there's so many more things you can do with OmniSend and how you can use this alongside your online stores. But hopefully this has given you an insight into how you can use this to get started. If you want to check out my previous video on OmniSend or the playlist that I've got coming soon, check out here next. As always, all applicable links in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.